If you want to get your first Warzone 3 win, then this is the video for you. In this gameplay, I'm going to voice over exactly what I'm thinking as we get this Warzone win. So, without further ado, hit that subscribe button and let's get right into the video. What's going on, homies and home mates? It's your boy Mugged. The comment of the day goes to TMH. This guy actually joined the Discord server from the link in the description. And he's been showing a lot of love. So I want to give him the comment of the day. He also pointed out we are very close to 1K subscribers. So let's keep pushing for that. We're about 20 away. If you want to get the next comment of the day, then comment notification squad down below. And with all that out of the way, let's get into the video. Welcome to this gameplay. Basically, it's a quick resurgence duo. It's not my most kills that I've gotten in a game. Actually, later this week, I'm going to upload one where I dropped 24 and Feruzi dropped 32. It was a crazy game, but that's going to be coming later. Later, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get a lot of kills in your games. This one is about how to get the win. So I'll kind of guide you guys through when I'm rotating, what I'm thinking, and all these points. So right now we're looking at the map and you can see it's a direct line from the middle. So over here, you're going to have, I mean, resurgence in general, especially on Sheikah, it's very, very, very crowded. But what you're going to see is from that center line in the beginning and the end, you're going to have uh, the majority of the people as well as on Ashika specifically at tents is the hot drop. So uh, or farms. So anything in the middle of the map tends to be a little bit more quiet than the beginning or the end of where the plane comes from. Aside from that, you could see we just had a bounty here. He ended up we ended up taking too long, but we do push this. I get a few shots off, but I noticed that there was multiple. And then I decide we're going to push back together. I down one while uh, Gabby's rezzing. I go, I get the full plate, and he somehow killed me through the um, through the bottom piece. I did call out that he was full plate, that he was cracked. I called out that the other guy was selfing, and then I got rezzed. So you do have to communicate as a team. If you're playing duos, if you're playing quads, if you have intel on something, call it out just in case. Maybe your team already knows, but also if your team's in a situation where... Um, where they need to hear the footsteps or whatever, then do be quiet at those times. So over here, I was overexposed and that's on me. You see how Gabby's shooting behind the rocks? He has a good little head angle on these people. That's playing it smarter. I'm out in the open just because my ego is too high. You do not want to be doing this. However, I am trying to rotate and trying to get closer. Gabby called in a drone to get this guy while I was distracting him from the right side. So once he goes down, now we know it's a 2v1 scenario. I saw his teammate. I called it out for Gabby. He's pushing from straight ahead and I'm out here rotating around. I get full plates on this guy. I'm low and he somehow decides to push even though he was low. Gabby had my back and that's an easy kill for us. I don't know why. He would push that if he had no plates already, but it is what it is. Remember, when you guys are playing as a team, it's not all about you getting the kills. A lot of it is you guys having to play together. So have each other's back. Make sure you're helping each other out over there. We were both shooting this guy. You know, we're helping each other out. If there's ever people flying in, those are typically easy kills. Mark it for your team to know which direction you're shooting in or call out at the top. You see Northwest, you see Southwest, whatever you're looking at. Call out the direction that you're that you're pointing in. Over here, I saw this guy and I figured he would go for his loadout. I hid behind the car so he didn't see me and it's an easy kill for me. Got the team wipe. It was the same guys as, as before. What you want to do is use as much intel as you can. So I just popped a UAV. If you ever have intel, it's going to give you the biggest advantage. So over here, we see that uh, this guy was alone. Uh, there is a guy further back that might be his teammate or it's a guy in the air. We do know that he's not on the same level at the moment because you see the little dot so right now it shows that he's uh, on a lower level than i am so if the dot is above him it means he's above you if the dot if there is no dot then it means that if there is no dot that means you guys are the same level and if the dot is under him then that means he's below you guys so from what it showed is that he was somewhere below the mountain level that i was at i already have a self so i mark that one for gabi to grab unfortunately he won't have the time precision on me i call that out as well and somehow some way this guy was up here i think it's the guy that just landed in though i don't think it was the same teammate of his that we were looking at because ground level he's calling out that there's a guy rotating with us so we're looking back to find his teammate because we didn't see him and he was actually ground level so gabby's shooting at him i couldn't see him and at the end i saw his body right there boom easy headshot and that's the kill we had a fire sale we popped a few uavs now we have an advance so i can see which direction they're looking in which gives us an advantage at the same time. Gabi was distracting this guy while I pushed behind, and we know that his teammate's further up ahead. This is the last guy. You can see at the top right that it's a 2v1 scenario. I got full plates on him. Gabi gets the knock. That is essentially going to be the gameplay. It was a very easy win. What you want to do is just play 
your circle, try to get as much cover as you can. And with that, the more intel you're collecting, you could choose whether you want to engage in the fight or not. So that's my biggest suggestion of try to have as much cover as you can. Decide when you should engage, when you should draw back. You saw when the guy was going for his loadout, he was on the bike. I decided to hide instead of just shooting him straight up because if you would have just turned left, that's an instant kill for him. I'm not going to let him do that. So instead, I hid and then I pushed him while he was grabbing his loadout. You got to think of when you have the biggest advantage to engage. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like. If you guys want more videos like this one, comment it down below. And if you made it this far, then I highly recommend checking out my other videos. See you guys in the next one. Peace.